Yep, you read that right. Let me help you save some money. About month and a half ago, I asked you guys which budget DAX I should review. Well, the enthusiasm was huge. It took me some time to gather all the facts and do the review. But hey, here we are with all of your DAX. We have everything from Apple dongle to audio killer to FIO to 7 Hertz. Watch till the end. I have hidden a surprise for you guys in between the video. So let's start with some basics. Why do we need a DAC? And what are the myths around it? So you only need DAC in two conditions. Number one, your current DAC is not sufficient to power your IEM or headphone. Number two, you want to decode high-res music from your mobile phone. In fact, in some old phones, you already have a high-res DAC like my old S10e, which I use as a DAC now. No other reason, seriously. Let's see what are some myths around the DAC. Myth number one, a DAC can make your IEM sound better. No, that's far from the truth. A DAC merely converts digital signals to analog. If you have a bad sounding IEM, change your IEM, a DAC will not make it sound good. A DAC do not change the tonality of an IEM. And if it does, it's a bad DAC. There's something wrong with it, it's faulty, don't go for it. Myth number two, you need a DAC to unleash full potential of your IEM. What is an IEM's full potential? It's to provide you with good sound and technicalities. And for that, IEM need power, not some miraculous DAC. And how much power does it need? Well, not much. Most of your budget IEMs are good with your mobile jack. Seriously, they are good with your mobile jack. It's just marketing technique to give you those DAC. Thanks to Apple for removing 3.5 mm. Any mobile or laptop with the 3.5 mm jack already has a built-in DAC. An external DAC does not guarantee a better sound. A superior DAC can provide you slightly better resolution or realism. That too on high-end IEMs or headphones. But it will never change the tonality of the IEM. That's the misconception around it. Some people talk about DAC coloring, that if you have some IEM, some other DAC will make it sound good. No, it will not. It's a myth. If you have a poor sounding IEM, a DAC will not make it good. It will sound poor. No amount of DAC change or cable changes can improve it. No, it's not. Do not waste your money on those gimmicks. There are more myths. However, I'll end by saying manufacturer will always say their product is best, claiming they can magically transform your experience. <laughs> they won't. Invest in IEMs, they will change your experience. So with this, let's start the guide in a new way. So in start, I just wanted to do review like I always do. However, I thought there's a lot of fear mongering around the DAC. Like without DAC, your IEMs will sound poor. Without DAC, this will happen. A good DAC can make your bass good, make your treble good. Will not. So I thought, how possibly can I show this to you objectively? Then I got an idea. So what I did was, I just did an experiment to see if there is any change in the tonality if I apply DAC or not. So what I did was, I took one IEM as a reference point and measure it. Whatever I'm talking about, I have put everything on my squig. You can go there and check it out yourself. And then I put the same IEM to all these different DACs, ranging from Apple dongle to Fio K11 to iBaso DC07 Pro to see how it is changing the tonality. I wanted to see if at all there's any change. Well, here are the results. So let's start with Apple dongle, very similar to the reference point, that is the IEM tuning. The only difference that you see is in 20 to 30 hertz, that's it. And it is there because of the Type-C interface that I used. It will be there in all the DACs. Now let's check 7 hertz 71. Again, same results as Apple dongle, D07, D08, Headphone Zone, DD5 DAC. J Kelly JM30, Fio KA11, all are the same results. You will not see any difference in the tonality of the IEM. Not convinced? 
well i use some expensive dacs as well like fio k13 i baso dc07 pro will all are the same results did any dac change any tonality no and it should not if it does that then it is not a good dac by the way hpc dd5 high res dac and audio killer d07 dac they are exactly same dac in terms of build quality in terms of tonality chip amplification everything is similar check the fr as well zero standard deviation zero standard deviation they are literal carbon copy of each other so i would say go with the cheaper one it's half the price and does the same job you can check all the deck tests that i have done all behave almost similar the only difference among them was power you can check all the dacs almost all of them behaved in similar way the only difference amongst them was power and when you are listening to them some resolution factor which is believe me almost negligible on budget ians so reiterating again if a dac is changing your tonality it's a faulty dac it has some kind of noise or distortion that is changing the tonality of your iem and if you want to change the tonality of your iem eq is the thing the job of a dac is to provide as pure a conversion as it can with expensive dacs again you can get best resolution and technicalities but only to the capacity of your iem it can never enhance the potential of your iem By the way here's the surprise for you except for Apple dongle which i use a lot by the way all of these dacs are for giveaway you know the drill subscribe and comment your favorite dac and i will pick one winner every day starting 1st of october and the winner will get one dac out of these so in total we have a lot of dacs 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 Seven dacs, nice. So starting first of October for one week, there will be giveaway winners. So subscribe and comment your favorite dac. I will announce the winners on my Discord, Instagram, Twitter. So follow at least at one place, so you'll know that you are the winner. And YouTube community is there. So in case you don't want to waste your time on social media, I am announcing on YouTube as well. So which of these dac is right for you? Well, Apple dongle. If you have Apple device just get Apple dongle it's the goat. The only problem with Apple dongle is it does not work very well on Android. It does not supply good enough power for your IEM. I don't know why. Apple always does this. So only if you have Apple device get this Apple dongle. Otherwise if you have Android two good devices I'll tell you. One is Audio Killer D07. Well this is one of the best dongle in the market. However, it is not available around the globe. So the other good option is Fio JA11. I was surprised with this small dac. It has ample power to supply to all my IEMs. I did not find single IEM that I could not provide enough power to. And cherry on the top, it gives you PEQ capabilities via the app. so amazing dongle for 10 dollars reiterating again apple device get the apple dongle android device get fio j11 or audio killer d07 lastly for some reason you feel either of these three are not able to power your iems well in that case fio ka11 is absolutely amazing it has enough power to drive some of my headphones so just go for it it's amazing so apple device apple dongle android fio j11 or audio killer d07 all three 10 dollars if you feel they are not able to power your iem you have some power hungry iem fio k11 it's that easy seriously it's that easy do not brainstorm much all these decks are amazing no need to think a lot about them decision paralysis always bad music always good do subscribe enter the giveaway and i'll see you on the next one oh you are still here well i have turned on membership on the channel you know i do not like to keep knowledge behind the paywall 
it will never be as i promised it will continue all the giveaways that were going on will continue so why do you want to join well there are some reasons one if you want to support the channel feel free to join always appreciate it however there are two important perks that i have added with this membership every month i will sell some of my units at a discounted price only to the members it will be a member exclusive and second for members there will be exclusive giveaway and that giveaway will be a bit premium in comparison to all the standard giveaways that i do and with increased number of members i will always update the giveaway accordingly according to the value of the members so what are you waiting for join the twx club well i hope you like the guide do subscribe and support the channel and i am back now there will be some pretty unique videos and some useful content that i have planned for you for past 2 3 months that you will see coming up in the next month very useful for you guys so stay tuned i will see you on the next one